Right, we're back again, uh, and this time we're going to try <laughs> the same scenario that we failed miserably in last time. Yeah, we're going to so try again. The difference is this time is that I'm playing as the warrior and the assassin. Yeah. Um, so the warrior you saw last time, the assassin, um, his main way of blocking things is by dodging, and dodging is where you roll one of these green dice. And the screen life either has a dodge symbol or a blank, and it's a 50 50 chance, and you, have to, and you have to get at least one to dodge. However, on some strong attacks, it can be you need two to dodge. Sure. So, so I get two of them from one for my shield, one for my armor. So I, I would normally only get one black, but it's a one of the dodges. Yeah. If it's one of his special, is once he makes a successful dodge. He can he can attack the enemy that he's dodged for free yeah. or for no stam no stamina. So I think he's the only character that can make an out of turn attack. So even yeah. when it's not his turn, he can attack. Um, so we're going to try and play two characters each. So I've got the knight and the herald. You've got the warrior and the assassin. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can do better than we did last time and not be murdered by a level two room that killed us off last time. Right. Yeah. So. I put, I put that card at the bottom of the deck, <laughs> yeah. shouldn't draw it again. Right, so this room is a level one room and it's a bow guy. Yes, one of those ones. And one of these guys. It also has a barrel on there. And just because it wasn't hard enough already, it's also traps. Oh, I did check and see if the other cards are trapped last time. Oh, if it's got spears at the bottom, that means it's traps. So I get to grab a trap token. So where would the traps go? Uh, they go on any square that's not an entrance. Oh, okay. So you can end up putting quite a few traps out. Yeah, that is quite a lot of traps. Uh, so, uh, so they wouldn't go on these squares. They go on any outside squares. So they will go on. Oh, squares it's not like that. that. Not that many then. Oh, right. Like that. Uh, like that. Those ones will also count, right? Since they're not that's not that. Uh, it's, it's just edge. It's just edge ones. It can't go there, and it can't go there because he's already standing on it, and it can't go on there. So it's just three traps along the middle there. Okay. So. I don't think I've ever run into a trap in Dark Souls. So a trap. I'll show you what a trap does. A trap essentially hits you just like anything else. So. This would be damage of one, and it's a two dodge. Okay. So who would like to go first, and who would like to be the aggro? Um, now I think probably aggro to you, Dad, and then war, the warrior first. Yeah, okay. And that would be the hero that goes after. Because it would just go around like that, yeah, so. Yeah. Let's go, um, he's going to get shot, so I reckon you go for yourself, Dad. Because uh, you're going to get shot, so we don't want to have, have the whole node attacked. So, so the new one needs to be over here then. Or if we switch that around, because the wall is going to go first, if he's closest to the bowman. Alright. And then we all go here. those two go with the warrior. Okay. Because if we go with the new dad, because you're the one getting shot by the node attack. So if you go by yourself, then we go. Oh, okay. Alright. Yep, yeah, fair enough. So we start off. Um, who goes first, the bowman or the eastern uh, bowman? So, uh, threat level is three for this bowman and two for this guy. So, the crossbow hollow is going to go first. Okay. It's going to move one away from the aggro and shoot, and shoot me for three damage, which I get, uh, and it's magical, so I get a black dice. I save two of it, and one damage goes through. Uh, then this guy will just shoot me for four physical damage, of which I get a blue and a black. And I take one more damage. Now it is the warrior's turn. Yeah, so the warrior's just going to move up to the silver bowman for free. And he's going to do a two black attack. Which I get free, uh, which is enough Which to is kill. enough to kill him. So two armour and one damage. So now both of the aggro and the first turn are going to go to the herald. Uh, that guy's going to shoot the herald, and the herald's going to get one black dice against it. Saves two, so one goes through. 
Now the Herald's turn. Now the Herald's turn. Um, I mean, it could be worth it to go around the traps. Well, I can use one to go there for free, and then one there for one stamina. And then I can use my. Um, I'll go with the I'll go with the three attack because I think we've got this room sus. I don't think this room's going to be hard. So one, two, three, and I get plus one on my black dice. So two damage, one on his armor, one goes through, he's dead. Good job. Instant six souls. We'll take those. Oh, actually eight souls because there is four players. Oh yeah, okay. Um, four characters at least. Right. So let's go look at the next room then. So first player is going to go to, to the knight. So I think the warrior should take the aggro. The warrior can take the aggro. Okay. Uh, reveal the room, James. Okay, so in this room, we've got three swordsmen, one or oh, one hollowed swordsman on the single sword, and two hollowed swordsmen on the double sword. Oh, and then we've got a chest and a barrel. Chest. Oh, good. The chest is always good. So this needs to go here. There's a chest and there's a barrel. The chest goes here, barrel goes here. Okay, so um, no traps. I'm happy to take that. I think um, have... you sure you could just make it so that they don't hit you. Because will... if you go there, no one can hit you. Okay. Uh, we'll have to go there and hair will and attack you. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so uh, in this room, third turn, they're both going to head towards. Actually, um, this means nearest player. I've realised the mistake we've been making. Ah, so the circle on here means nearest player. Oh, so maybe this is where we definitely didn't want me to be there. Rethink that. So they will head to the nearest player. They will head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they are both going to hit me for four damage. So the first one. I'll take three. Oh, That's don't not... you clear that off. You can oh, yeah. only take one thing. Yeah. Sorry. And then the other one's going to hit me. I'll attack all four, so it's all five. Good job. Right, my turn. I'm already on the square, so I will just use my one blue to attack. Ah, I only get one. That's fine, I'll leave it. Uh, over to the assassin. Um, so, can uh, I have the. So you get the aggro. These are going to continue to attack me, and he's going to come to me. Right, first turn, first turn, turn. Yeah. First turn, it's open. Do you want to move that hollow down? Yeah, so he's going to hit him. So we'll do my attacks first. So on my guy, four. So the first one I'm totally fine with. The second one, I'm also totally fine. So the warrior gets two blacks, and I'll take three damage. Okay. Assassin's so, turn. Uh, on the assassin's turn, he will uh, move and push this skeleton off onto there, and then. Well, why don't you put? Well, uh, well, I'm thinking. Okay, okay, we go there and then make him move. Yeah, okay. he's gonna hit the warrior or whatever. Cause then the warrior can like swing. Alright, oh, okay. So, um, and then he will use his uh, stronger attack to do. So his basic attack is two dice minus one, uh, but his sh slightly stronger attack is three black dice minus one. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a black dice. Just for those. <laughs> so he gets. Oh, still one. not good enough. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Okay, so um, again, terrible dice rolling uh, is is plaguing us in this game. Uh, right. Warrior's turn. So uh, now, so they're going to attack. Um, so he's into here. So one of them's going to attack me. I take three, so take one damage. Then two so, onto the warrior. So the warrior will take two, and then and then he will take um, one. Okay. So he's taken a fair, fair amount of damage. Um, do you think we. Yeah, I think we'll be finished with this thing soon. So we're going to use do. 
two two stamina. Yeah. To attack that node with two. As long as you kill them. Uh, so one armor and one damage kills both. Yeah. There we go. Good stuff. And then uh, the turn comes to the herald. But those two knights are going to stay there because they just hit the nearest player. Let it attack me. So that one knight. I'm going to take two damage. And then it's the herald's turn. The herald's already one square away. So he's going to. Um, he can just use his spear, which is one die. Maybe he could just use spear, but he might as well do his big attack. Oh, yeah. And he's going to clear, hopefully, this kills it and he can clear his bar afterwards. So, one, two, three. Actually, he'd have got two back anyway, so take two of those off. And then it's one plus one, uh, which is one damage, so that doesn't do anything. All right, over to the knight. It's going to attack the knight, the knight will tank it. You should, how about we need to make it attack the assassin? Yeah, that's the right. I'm not going to die, am I? One. Um, creeping up on you and then I can hit it back with um, my blue dice two damage kills it there we go so clear, so clear our board and that's another eight souls yeah I'll put that on the couch so now we just need to find out how tough this level two room is yeah do you want to reveal the level two room okay just grab one more dice put a four on it this is where we find out if it's okay. going to kill us. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, so we need three silver swordsmen. And three of these guys? Yeah, and one bowman. Oh my goodness, that's actually worse. Um, do we need to open that chest? Yes, we do. But I'll show you in a sec. So three sword guys, which we know are hard. Do you want to play some out? Any traps or anything? Uh, no traps. No there's, traps. But there's a barrel. There's a barrel. So there's the barrel, and then we'll do the treasure chest. So the treasure chest is simply two flips from here. So the first one is a reinforced club, um, and the second one is an effigy shield. So um, the effigy shield is ten strength, ten faith. So uh, the the um, this late person can use it straight away. Oh, it allows you to have a two-hander whilst also still using a shield. Okay. So. Could be useful for the warrior. I can't use it just yet, though. Yeah. So you might um, as well give it to the herald. I'm going to get to the herald for now because it's actually better than what it's currently carrying. Gee, what's that going to give? Um, it, it gives him a black in magic, which he doesn't currently have. So. Oh, yeah. Um, at least that's something better. Uh, and then the club is twenty-three strength, sixteen. Um, uh, and it's a zero cost is one blue, three cost is two blues. Um, so it's not. It's just a good so solid it's, club, so it's really. Twenty three strength and. Twenty three strength and sixteen faith. Okay, so that's tier one on strength and dexterity for him. You need faith. Oh, faith. Yeah, it's still tier one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, so so where are we going to go in this one. room? So. The next turn, who's the next turn? So I'm the next turn. And it's, uh, the aggro I could go to. Who's got the best defense at the moment? Um, On two blacks. The knight has. I mean, yeah. he's got two dodges. So actually, but he's going to get double tap if we do that. Um, because he's going to get hit. But he's got, he's got a fairly good chance. He's got two dice to yeah. roll. So that's not bad. Two and four. It's alright. Yeah. All right. Um, so. So right, the knights are going to go first. Uh, I re I would think him there. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's quite difficult because we don't have that slot there. Because mm. so because one because I would put the warrior and the herald together so that they're not going to get grouped up on. Uh, but I think someone else is going to have to share the blow. Of the bowman. Alright, well, just let's stick him in there and see. We're alright at the moment. We know we're going to reset, so we can use all of our abilities. Can you, can you go those two together? Yeah. Actually, no, we split them up. Um, see if that works. Okay. It's not that much of a solid plan. So, uh, that knight's going to move twice. So, does he move towards the. He moves towards the closest player. Okay. 
So right. we can move him there. So he's going to move once, technically twice. Yeah. Once, twice. So we can push. I think we can push the assassin off. Yeah. Uh, that that will work. Okay. Well, why don't you push off to there, and then you can maybe go after him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, so when that happens, move twice, I'm then going to get hit and then we're going to get pushed. So it's going to attack the whole node, so it's me and the oh, Herald yeah. first. Go first. So it's five damage, so first on the first damage is on the knight, this is five. He saves two, so three goes through. Oh, and the second, the, the second one is going to be um, two black. Oh, and he only takes one, nice work from the Herald there. Okay, and then we're going to get pushed, so uh, probably I would push, uh, I would push, push the herald to there, forward. and I'll push myself to there. Yeah, that's good. So that's the best thing of war, isn't it? Right, and that, so now, now I actually get to fight. Oh no, and then the, the knight's going to, the um, so like, bone's going to shoot. Oh no, war, the warrior needs a block as well. Oh yeah, go on and do the block on the warrior. So the warrior gets two, so the first one's going to hit him for three. But then he's then going to push him away from the other one, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, oh, I think I think he might be best best going there. Okay. So, yeah. So now the bowman's going to shoot the assassin. The assassin's going to try and dodge it. Is it just one? Or that, that's my it? turn. It's my turn. You're the bowman's the shooting. Oh yeah, the bowman is going to shoot the aggro. So you. Yeah. So. Uh, is it and one it's dodge four or damage, and it's one dodge. Okay, so let's try and get one dodge. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So it costs one stamina. Cost of stamina, and then you can move. You can kind of flip over the arrow and go to there, which I will then use my like special because we're not going to go. All right. Okay. Yeah. And I'll attack the. I can have one dodge, one black move, but I'll attack the bowman. So you new heroic to attack the bowman, yeah. and that's minus so one, just four damage, kills the bowman. Alright, cool. Oh, now it's my turn. So I might move into uh, this little cluster. And use my four attack, and hopefully wipe one of them out. Although you're going to get hit twice. Yeah, oh, but I could S this yeah. after that. Okay. Uh, three damage, so two to take out his armor, one to kill him. So I kill one of the knights. And then I will, um, for safety's sake, S this so that I get all that back. Yeah, I forgot to reset that more Yeah. Um, right, now the player goes over to the road. Okay, we got a bit Assassin. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that knight's gonna just turn to fight me, and that one's gonna turn to fight you. Uh, we're both gonna take five damage and be pushed. So I take one damage, and the warrior will take um, four. four. I'm gonna choose to be pushed to there. I think I'll be pushed to be double swords. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so on the assassin's turn, he yeah. is going to. He's a, a long way from anyone. So I think he will move. Well, one stamina. He'll move and then use his stamina. Actually, he would have got that back at the beginning of yep. the turn. So he's going to move into there. Move there. And try and. Then try he could use free stamina. And hit him with a with free. So you need to roll four damage, it's your, that's the thing with you, um, so that's going to fail. Yeah. Okay. Okay, right, over to the warrior. Uh, he's going to attack you back, and he Damn is going to go to the herald. Okay. So we get, well, look at your warrior. Okay. <laughs> uh, so it's better that he attacks the hero, the herald at this point. So the, war, the hero, herald's going to be hit for, for, for five, and save two of it. And the assassin's going to try and dodge. It's Double dodge, right, so where are you going to dodge to? The now remember, even if you fail, you still dodge. You just get hit on the way through, so you yeah. can still dodge. Dodge there. Right, now up to the warrior to take his turn. You need to move the tokens over to yourself. Yep. 
So the warrior is going to move to there and he's going to hit this guy for four. Yep, which kills him. Nice. Um, yeah, that's his turn. Yeah, and over, to, over, to the head, over to the Herald. Yes. No uh, tokens, tokens. Oh, tokens, mm -hmm. no. I think you need that black one, which I think... No, I'm good, I've got two. Right, so I'm going to get hit for five straight off the bat and take and take two damage. And then I will move away for one. <coughs> uh, I, don't think, I don't think there's any point in me trying to attack it, that's the thing. Um, but then I can't really do much else, so I'll give it a go. Maybe you can. I'll give it a go. Okay. Because we can choose him to attack anyone else afterwards anyway. One, two, three. There's two blacks. That's not it's a black and plus one, so I need to roll two. So I don't. Yeah, so fouls. Right. Then he's going to move to the. Uh, it's my turn. Yeah, it's going to the night. It's fine. Because I'm thinking, <coughs> Herald, if he fails, he's going to die. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's what he's I intended to do anyway. I intended him to die for me. So I've blocked everything but one. Now it's my turn, and I'm going to hit him with my level f my three energy. One, two, three, four. It's a black and a blue. We're looking for three on the dice. Yeah, we get three. He's dead. Okay. So that is another eight souls. So I think we can go back to the camp. Right, so that wasn't terrible. Um, it's only me using my Estus um, that really wasn't it. No one else did anything. Oh, you used your heroic. Oh yeah, I used my. I only used. <coughs> I probably could have not used my heroic, but I decided. Yeah. It's we're not going to go into the boss. We might as well. Yeah, that's fine. So we know we can clear those three rooms. Yeah, make sure you flip all your tokens back over. Yeah. Clear your board. That was successful. So we're going to use a spark. So, so we have. Everything's going to reset. And um, we've got how many souls? 24 souls. 24 souls. So let's flip an item. We've got an ember straight off. Uh, so. Um, One thing. Maybe it should, maybe the assassin can have it. Because if he fails it. He's going to be taking a lot of damage. If maybe. He fails, he's maybe. I don't mind. Yeah, we can give it to the assassin. So the assassin gets a. Gets a it's an ember. Uh, Do you ember. not too mind what it does? Um, if you take over three damage, it reduces it by one. Okay. And it might help him a little bit. Might help a little bit. Okay, right, next one. The Morning Star, uh, which I think is actually a pretty good weapon. Oh, yeah. Uh, 16 strength and okay. 19 faith. Um, okay, tier two faith. So it's tier one on the Herald. It might actually be good for the Herald, because the Herald's a bit weep, a bit weedy. Okay, I'll, we can give him some souls. Because it's basically tier 1 on both. So how much is it? For the... So this is um, 4, 8. Okay. 8 souls. Done, we have 12. Yeah, and then he can take off that. And he's now rolling a blue for nothing, and 2 blues for 3. Yeah, that's definitely what Which for it. him is much better. A massive upgrade. Yeah. Um, okay, next flip. It might seem a bit more deadly. Uh, a spotted whip, which is more for your class. It's 30 dexterity, 23 intelligence. Uh, it's uh, tier 2, tier 3. Uh, okay, so it's quite a way off. Right, flip again. Yep. Tiny Bean's Ring. Uh, 20 faith, so it's a ring for the um, Herald, because you could already wear it. Oh yeah, wear it then. Um, at the start of your activation, you may gain one stamina and one health instead of two stamina. But it requires an upgrade slot, so whilst he can have it... Oh, is it? Is it not um? It's a ring, so rings go into here. Oh, I thought rings were what go up here. Um, I don't think so. What does go up here then? Four equipment slots. 
was these two are uh, these two are uh, weapons that uh, looks a bit like a tools kind of one. Yeah, I don't think that's where rings go. I think I think when I watch lots of let's plays on it, rings and I've got and things like that go into your armor. Uh, armor upgrades can freely be added to your armor cards. Um, and then weapon upgrades. I think that's for like a weapon you're not using, like it's sheathed, like because that's what that is. That's a weapon sheath. Mm, yeah. So I think that's for like I would put my spear. Let's say I wanted to switch to my spear, I'd be carrying it there, and then there's room for the upgrades in it. Um, what about your talisman then? Your yeah, my talisman would go in there, yeah, because I actually can swap that in and out. But yeah, so that ring's really good. Oh. But until I upgrade my well, I armor, I can't I, use it. I think I know. Uh, so I think the stuff that you have off your board, you can't. Hang on, we're doing this wrong. Doing Tier this. one, base to so we should have spent two two souls, two souls. We're not not eight four. Okay. It's two. Us... It's two four then eight. Oh, this is really. I mean, how many cards would you want? Would you want one? Would you drop the ember? Uh, ember, one here, and two, two so four. Four cards four. would you want. Okay, so we're down to 20. Okay. It's 12. 22. And then we used, so four, was it only four souls to do that? Yes. Okay, so. Um, 16, yeah? Yeah. Okay, and then there's a silver knight's shield. Yeah, which is 31 strength 23 dexterity uh it is really the icon is for the warrior um and it's um it actually has an attack on it believe it or not uh it has a blue dice but for one stamina you can do one black one blue and for three you can do two blues so i don't know how that's t2 on both my things t2 um so how much is t2 compared to t2 so it's two it's two then four, then six. Two, four, no, two, four, eight. Okay, that's a lot less than I thought it was, so it doubles the chance. Yeah, so you would, um, So yeah. if it was to get up there, it would be six points to go from base to tier two. Uh, right. no, it would be two there, yeah, two there, four there, and then eight to get to the last one. Yeah. Yeah, so you could just do two, four, so six. Six. And so it would cost 12 souls. Should be these two to equip him with that, or do we want to get him a mega big like? I think he's gonna go for two hand or yeah, something. Yeah, two handed. Yeah, okay. Like that shield there. That's still. I mean, it's still a good shield. It's way better than my shield. So, um, but for me to get that, I'm thirty. I mean, I'm tier three for strength. So it's a it's a long a long way off. Right. So we have got a blood gem, which we might as well take. Yeah. So the only person can take it is the herald, and you can put it straight on. So no, it no make cost. the enemies bleed. Every so when it's their next turn, they um they bleed for one. Okay, just bleeding like just take a wound. Yeah. Well, that could kill. Like that could be really good against the brutes. It's good. It's, it's good against big. Yeah, happens. things with more than one wound, obviously. Uh, right. So where are we now? Next one down. Uh, we have another ring, uh, which has got my symbol on it. Uh, my knight symbol. After you suffer damage from an enemy attack, gain one stamina. Blue tear stone ring, but it's 25 dexterity and 25 faith. So I'm tier three on both things. So I'm way off of getting that. Next one. East West Shield. We've seen this before. 28 intelligence. So I think we should just sell that immediately to get our one back. So we've got one back. Uh, this is a dagger for the rogue, Rotten Guru Dagger. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. It's quite good. It poisons. So, uh, 17, uh, 17 dexterity, 17 intelligence. Uh, that's tier one on both my things. Uh, could yeah. we do that? Yeah, we could do that. So that's so four more souls. Yeah, so that we're only down to one. There you go. And you can have that dagger. Yeah, so that will go for 22. And... And that will go to 18. Yeah? Thanks. Right. That's really cool. Seven left, yeah? Yeah. A Titanite Shard, uh, which I think goes straight on your dagger, I think. Yeah? Okay. It could Gives plus one damage uh, to your dagger. 
which so negates the minus one. Yeah, that's really useful. Cool. So you're rolling straight dice on that one now. Yeah. So what does the, uh, the poison do? Um, adds poison to the character, and let me just check. This talks to Joy in the evening when she decides to bark. This is what she does right now. She just barks any move. Right, uh, bleed. When a model that has a bleed token suffers damage, it suffers two additional damage, then remove the bleed token. Uh, so so, so when I make it bleed, if I attack and hit, as long as I hit, I do two extra damage. Oh, cool. Uh, poison. At the end of the model's activation, oh, okay. if it has poison, it takes one yeah, damage. Yeah, so you mix them up a little bit. Yeah. Cool. There we go. Right, um, where are we? Five left. Three. <laughs> got another one. Sharp gem. The weapon gains one black dice. Um, uh, well, let's just keep that until someone else gets a new weapon. Yeah, I don't know. No one else has got upgrade slots. Yeah. So. Spider's shield. 27 strength and then 15 intelligence. So... Uh, you're immune to poisons. It's my it's my symbol. Um, okay. It's quite good, but we have three points left. There are three points left, so I could make my, I could start making my way to it. Well, look, if I take two, if I take two and put my strength there, I need to upgrade once. I need four, six, six more souls, and I can upgrade them to equip the shield. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you want to look see if there's one thing we could sell and then we could draw from the girls? Yeah. Or we could just bank the one. Uh, I don't think you're going to go for the whip now because you've got your dagger. Yeah, I like um, that. Or this reinforced club. Um, I was thinking for Warrior to have that, but I think we're coming for something better. Yeah, I think something more two handed will probably be better. Yeah. Um, Alright, well, that gets us two souls, so we can do one more flip. And we've got a tight enough shard. Oh, no, we, got, no, we don't need to sell that club. So we've got two Yeah, so I'm saying, yeah. So we've got another tight enough shard. So anyone, so whenever we, ever we get weapons, we've got plenty of upgrades for them. Right, I think we're good then. Um, you're going to take the next turn. And let's redo this room. So we've got bow guy, crossbow guy, traps and a barrel. Um, so I think knight at the back. No, at the back to take the aggro. Then us three here. Us three there. And now I don't have to worry about being up close. And, I can be up close and personal. Yeah, I'm going to show up my bottom gear with the dagger. Okay. Uh, so the... Uh, no, I've lost my cards. Right, okay. The Great Bowman is going to shoot the aggro for four damage. Okay. And it's physical, so I... Should be fine. Yeah, I block all four. And then the crossbow man is going to shoot the aggro again for three damage, which I only get one black on. So I'm going to take two damage. Over to you. So the so the assassin he is going to move up to the silver bow to the great bow one. Yeah. And then he's going to use free stamina and hit him for three black dice, which is poison. Nice. So it's not going to do much good on this one. Um, <coughs> it's going to be good against the bosses, though, to have these extra wounds. Yep. So that's straight dice, yeah? There's no, because your minus one's negated by the yep. tight that shard. So two damage, uh, one damage goes through and kills him. That's it, job done. Nice. Um, now it's the warrior's turn. So He's, he's gonna. Um, first turn. He's gonna shoot. Yeah. So actually, no, he would have. He would have moved back on your turn, yeah. right? So he's gonna shoot the warrior. The warrior gets one dice. Yep. Yeah. So two damage goes through. Two damage, and then it's the warrior's turn. Yep. Yeah. Um, the warrior will move to here, and then move to here for one stamina. Move to here for two stamina. And then he will hit him for two black dice, which is two yep, one. That's two. enough to kill him. There we go, nice and easy. We just got we just got eight souls. Yep. Clear out your knight's board. No problems. Here's the here's the sort of the herald. Yep. Um, this really so, took yeah. a whole bunch of swordsmen. 
So the aggro doesn't actually matter, so I'm just yep. going to put it aside so I don't So swordsman, swordsman. So, I think we should go, whoever's swords, they're there. Yeah, I think. So there. Yeah. So we can split them. Yeah, fine. So let's pop them both into me. Are you sure? Yeah, um, okay, fine. Yeah, like that. I think fine. And then move one to you, you move that one towards. Okay, so one's going to have a go at me first, and he's going to hit for um, just four physical damage. I block all of it easily. And I'm going to try and dodge. You dodged so it. So, so I will dodge uh, to there. Okay. And then right, so the Herald. Yeah, the Herald is going to go and meet this guy. The Herald is then going to go and meet this guy. For three, because he's feeling he's, fe he's feeling confident, so he's going to use three stamina. This is your morning star, right? This is the morning star. Say hello to my little friend. There we go. Bang! Kills him with the morning star. No problems. The herald is feeling confident about himself. He's like, yeah. Also, pass the tokens to the knight, and then uh, he will go and attack him. Okay. Attack so again, him. I'm going to defend. Oh, that wasn't okay. that wasn't very nice. Uh, that is. Three damage. One, two, three. I will try and dodge. Which oh, I can see yep. him. And I take one stamina. But I can move back from here. Again, we're feeling confident, so we're going to take four. And we're going to hit that knight. Oh, just about half. So we do kill him there. Right. Turn goes to you and your rogue. Now, I don't mind if you want to send him into me. or. going to come hit him. I'm going to dodge him, and then my turn, I'll move in, and for free stamina. Stab him up. Yeah. Oh, I need just. Yeah, <laughs> Thank, good. Thank goodness you got this Titanite shot. <laughs> yeah. Because mine as well, and that wouldn't have been good. Right, that's, that's eight more, eight more, um... Yep, Sold can't. straight away. Let's go straight in. Right, so this one was two of these. No, three of these. And one of those, right? Do you want to put them where they're supposed to go? Yep. So we had that one there. Oh, I can't quite remember. Let me see. So we had um, two of these in there. Two on there. Yeah, it's a shame that barrel's where it is. Otherwise, if we'd stood there these wouldn't get their first attack on us. Yeah, maybe I should just destroy them with my roll. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, but if I do destroy them, can we then... Stick them? me in this corner with the knight. All right, okay. and then... Oh, wait, uh, warrior's going first. And then... Because then they're going to come to the nearest character. Uh, these guys only attack uh, the nearest... Well, actually, no. Oh, wait, does it make the sense? The Great Bowman's going to attack the aggro. Yeah, so that's gonna be. Make that me. Make me the aggro for the first turn. Okay. All right, and um, then the knights are gonna go for the, the nearest would it, person. Would it be legal if we went? If they decide, if they want to go to this character, so they're gonna go to there. Yeah. He moves into the nearest character, knocks you out. Yeah. 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 Y
So I'll pass me the tokens. There you go. Alright, uh, they're going to stay with you. Well, He's going to come to you. We could just link him back to there, right? It's, it's going to go after the, well, the same distance, so yes, you could do that. He's going to move in and push you out. They're all going to miss their attacks. Well, we know what to do the now. The bowman, the bow. Well, that's the point of the game. That is the thing you're supposed to learn. Each each of the monsters has a weakness, and these ones are. They're if you can, really but if you can bunch them up, then they're pretty useless. Um, the other, the big guy, can be tank, can be taunted around the table, and especially then if someone has got range. So yeah, once you learn, that's like the game. The whole game is about learning. To, to trick the characters, isn't it? Mm. But he is going to shoot the um, taunt, so he's going to shoot me. So I'm going to get two. No, I'm going to get a. Oh, still two blacks, whatever it is, I get two blacks. Oh, doesn't your sword give you two? Oh, actually, yeah, I get three blacks on magic. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So three. Um, so I take one damage. Nice. Um, can you. Move me into that lot. Um, Push him out. And I should be able to kill one of those guys. So for three. Does he lose? Oh, Six sure. damage. <laughs> Killed one That's of those. Weak, so, so we can't bunch him up anymore. We no. Are. That should be right. Comes to me. Uh, he's clearly going to attack him, he's clearly going to attack him, and he's going to shoot him. Okay, so, five on the Herald. Oh, that's four damage, that's not nice. Uh, could probably deal with killing these guys. Um, five on the Knight. So two. And then four on the Knight. Another one. Okay, knight's turn. I yeah. think you should do your big attack on that. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the uh, hit this dude. It's a shame that it's four. That's an awful lot of stamina. Yeah. But it kills work. it, so that's good. Um, rogue. Okay. So he's gonna hit the herald again. Oh, this is a mistake. Actually, no, he would have got pushed, wouldn't he? He would have got pushed. Pushing to... Push Actually, we both would have got pushed, but I could have moved back in again, so it's alright. Oh, yeah. Um, um, no, we need, we, we, need to make, to... we need to make the rogue the nearest character, because you're the one that hasn't taken a hit yet. We can choose. We can choose who we want to go to. Yeah, so uh, he would have moved towards the nearest, so he's going to yeah, be towards so the rogue. Yeah, so he's going to take a couple hits here. Um, but I and you can dodge so towards the bowman. Go. And he just goes boom. Yeah. And now. Dodge him for one stamina. Then the bowman's going to shoot. Dodge him. That's yeah, very so close. you can move him to him again. Boom. Okay. Um, my turn now. Alright. Yeah, it okay. is. We are risking death again, but it's okay. Is that knight's gonna attack my to me? Well, but I've got my heroic, so it's okay. I can, I can. I, I should have to save it. Should be fine. If I didn't dodge, if I didn't dodge, so I dodge this guy to there. He's gonna attack the yeah. Uh, so I kill the bowman because he's gonna attack if, the whole node. Bow... He attacks the whole node. So okay. if he shoots the aggro, he'll also shoot the um herald. Okay, so I'm there and I can move in. Yeah. And I will. Do you good? Do you good here? Yes. Okay. You're free. That's yeah, good just now. about. He's there dead. Go. Okay, right. Um, now it's the warrior's turn. He's going to move to the nearest character. This is the one bad. He's going to move your things over. He's going to hit me. Now it's okay. If I completely miss this roll, I can roll my heroic. All I good. don't. I save all the damage. Ooh. Right, now it's the warrior's turn. So I assume the warrior's going to move in. Yes. And the only problem is at the moment our warrior is our weakest hitter, really. Good point. Um, well, you can do three. So uh, that's just two damage. It's not enough. I can't that's do, okay. I, I can't just, do, I hit him, right? 
No, don't don't worry about it. I think we're okay. Um, because not if you fell it can make him it can make him hit you. You've got loads of health. It's a whole node, right? Um. Oh yeah, it is a whole node. Um. Do we think I'm going to roll less than? Let's chance it because if we if I roll less than what I need, I can heroic anyway. Okay. All right. So um, it becomes the herald's turn. I reckon the herald can bust him up. The herald's going to lose two stamina. Did you remember to take stamina off your guy? Oh, you did anyway. Yeah. Um. My um the knight's going to attack the node, so we're both going to take five damage here, James. Right. I take two, so I'm all right. Um, and then he's going to push me, so we need to push right. me away. So I'm going to take two as well, and I'll get pushed to the... Yeah, okay. Now it's up to the Herald. The Herald's going to move in, grab his Morning Star. Please don't fail this, because it could be really bad. <laughs> Do we think he's going to fail on two blues? No. We need three damage, come on. If he fails, I'll have to rest us. I see any difference. Oh, just luck. No, yeah, it's fine. He's dead. Woo. That's it. That is another eight souls. Let's head back. So we got two. So we got four sixes again. We're gonna reset the spark. So we're down to one left. Well, I think technically. Yeah, we've still got one more. We yeah. can we can get that down to zero. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so, so we so said we were gonna steel. use six steel. Yes, yeah, six. Um, yeah. Because I need to take my good. intelligence up, I think it is. This is going better than it than last time. Yeah, definitely. Uh, do you want to clear your board? Yeah, do you want to say? So the spider shield is 27 strength, so I need to go up one there, and then 15 intelligence, which is there. Yeah, that's the sky is all the So I now have a spiderling shield, which I don't think is amazing, um, but it does I mean I'm immune to poison, but I don't think anything poisons anything. But I do get an extra black dice, so I'll take that on physical. Nice. Um, now, does anyone need this shield? What is it? How much is it? Um, it's everything's zero. It's just one black dice on um, blocking. I don't but think it's better than anything. No, one. you've all got you've all got fine. I mean, shields. I've got zero dice on blocking, but it gives me my dodge. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's just check what we had in here first of all, so no one's all of a sudden can use something. No, no, so this is the Steel for Light Shield, which is for your warrior. I uh, think we need to get the warrior something. How much is the Steel for Light Shield on, this, on the stats? If I remember, it's like... Uh, oh, it's, 20, it's 31 strength and then 23 dexterity. Okay, so it's a tier 2 on both these things, which would be 12. I think we need to see if we can pull a good two-hander, so... Um, Knight's Slayer Ring, which is definitely for your guy. Um, uh, well, actually, it's for anybody. Oh, I could wear this straight away. Oh, no, I can't. 30 strength, that's it. Mm -hmm. that's after you make a block, after you, after you make an attack that exceeds an enemy's block or resist value by three or more, gain one stamina. So it's for mega hitting, like if you hit really hard. Um, so that's why it's meant for you, but no, I can't worry about it anyway, I don't have any upgrade slots, so we could just put it away and save it. Yeah. <coughs> Let me just, um, oh, it's all right. I'm going to go down to two, because I'm guessing we're drawing another card. Yeah, let's draw another card. Alright, so we've got sword. Silver Knight's straight sword. 20 strength, okay. 20 dexterity, 20 intelligence, 20 faith. No. It's a one-hander, two black dice for zero, three black, three for one and a two. I think we should just sell that, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think I would ever wear it. No, I don't think, yes, let's just sell it. Right, this is a two-hander, spiked mace. 32 strength. Okay. 22 faith. That's tier 2 on two things. That's going to be 12 souls, which will leave us with one. I think we should do it. Okay. Because I think he's our weakest character um, right now. What did he give us? Um, oh, look. 
Oh yeah, that looks good for him. So it means he has to drop the shield. He does get one. He gets one. She gets one defense on it from in each. Well, we could swap shields. And he can take a Titan that shot. But also, you could swap um, the effigy shield. What do you have enough? What, because what, this allows him. To, he, can, he can wear this whilst carrying a two-handed weapon. What effort does he need for that? Uh, just 10 strength and 10 faith, which you'd easily have because you just put uh, Yeah, okay, so if we do that, so you do 12. You can put this up to tier 2, yeah, and this up to tier 2. Yeah, he can um, then take a two handed weapon and that, and then I just need to give my herald a new shield. So we've got a round shield here, which is pretty, it it's pretty rubbish. Yeah, um, so I've got a number of uh, what shields do we have? Because I will keep hold of this battle axe. Because if he really, if this, if that this can still hit the node. That can still hit the node for five. But it has no zero attack, zero stamina attack. Oh right. Um. Yeah, it's, they're just all kite shields and round shields. Yeah. So we are taking a bit of a knock on the on the herald, but I think that's okay. Um. Yeah, this is a big upgrade. So what's your what stats is that guy on now? Uh, so he's gonna get a uh, free, free diet, free blacks. And has care. his armor got any upgrade slots? Uh, his armor has not got any upgrade slots, okay. but he has got a weapon upgrade slot. Okay, so you can go with um, not a sharp gem because it's twenty five dexterity, but you can go with any tight knot, shard, which is zero. Just nice. a straight upgrade. So it's a plus one damage. So he's getting um. In defense, he'll get three black dice for each, uh, for magic and physical. Then for attack, one one stamina is one black, one blue. Yeah. Three stamina <coughs> is one black, two blue. Five stamina so is we've got one, one black, two blue, but hits the node. We've got one one thing left, haven't we? Just one thing where uh, it's now probably worth us selling the reinforced club. Because I oh, don't yeah, think totally. anyone's going to use that now. And that gives us one flip. So let's get. We might get lucky. A heal, which is 13 faith. That's I'll take that for the herald. Yeah, you got the faith. Yes. Cool. So one, so zero. So for zero cost, one character within range gains one stamina, one health. So I think <coughs> you have to you, you have to drop something. Cause this is kind of your kind of your safe shot. I, I don't think you can carry. Uh, I think you can. Uh, then you can have a whole like array of weapons, and I don't think it quite works like that. All right, so you think I need to drop? Um, I drop the yeah, like the drop the talisman. I generally think losing like that's probably better than the talisman. I yeah. know the talisman could do a lot, but we don't end up suffering from stamina. But taking one of each for zero, I think is actually really good. Does it do it to just one person or everyone? It's just one person. Okay. But taking one of each is better, I think, than taking two of on any one because. You end up using them for different reasons. Yeah, okay. Do you want to wipe the board? Yeah. And then we can go. We can do one more round and then we can take a shot at the boss. Or yeah. if we feel confident, we can go for the boss straight away. I think we're pretty good. I think we can definitely have a good crack at the boss. Uh, but I think it definitely re relies on how well we can pass through. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, so the first so person is going to be me. Let's go aggro on the warrior because he's quite tough now. Right, so it's going to be um, one of these guys back here and one of these guys right here. In um, there, you three go. Actually, I'm going to get shot. Right? He's going to shoot the no, aggro. So. Yeah, so he's going to shoot the warrior. So okay, you three so go, you go there. Here. Warrior, lone, lone wolf at the back. Okay, so they're going to go first. This guy is going to shoot you for five damage. Okay, so he gets three blacks. So in one go, he's become good across attacking and defence, which is good. Yeah, so he takes one damage. Okay, cool. And then this guy is going to shoot um, back up. the closest player, which we will make me. Oh, he's sure it's the closest, but I think it's the aggro. Yeah, so it is the aggro, yes. He's going to shoot you for magic damage, no, three. Three. Yep, so he's all good. He's all good. He tanks all of it. He's a, he's a superstar. Okay, okay. Um, my turn. So I will go in and try and whack this guy with my long sword. So I will use four stamina and crack him over the head. 
I feel like Dark Souls could be easier if it was multiplayer. <laughs> Okay, right. Um, you have one person who has completed the game. Keep could... Trump's banging the table. If there's any banging the table, that camera goes like a wobble crazy. <laughs> Whoever's watching that camera goes, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, not that anyone's watching, so I won't worry. <laughs> uh, new turn. So that goes to you. And you're also the aggro. Yes. And you're going to get shot for three magic damage on your rogue. Okay. <laughs> I dodge it. Dodge it. I don't so imagine you want to dodge through a trap. You want to dodge to there. Um, I will then, my turn. I'll move up, and then one stamina to move up, and then. Stab you, stab, stab. Three stamina. To do three black dice in attack. Okay. And then I'll move up again. Yeah. Easy. Five, easy five. kills him. Okay. okay. Right the board. We've cleared the room. Let's do this. Six. Oh, sorry, eight souls for doing that. Right, straight into the next room, which I think is two of these there, uh, and one at the back, yeah. wasn't it? Uh, yeah, that's correct. So, I don't mind taking the aggro. Okay, uh, first person goes to the warrior. Ooh. Um, uh, aggro doesn't matter on this one. No, I think if we go, if we put you there, Dad, yeah. and then the warrior could go there, and then he's in here. Because if you, you take both of them, could you survive two hits from them? Oh, easy. I'll probably... Yeah. Very, uh, then he'd move in, yeah. knock you out, and do the spin attack. Okay, cool. Uh, so these are going to move into me. He's going to move down. They're both going to hit me for four, dam no, four, four damage. So the first one I take one damage, and the second one I take one damage. Nice tanking. Yeah, and now over to your actual turn. So you're going to come in, so, push me yeah. towards that guy. And then I'm going to use five stamina. Well, that's a lot in it, five stamina. Yeah, it is. Um, but it's one black, two blues, and hits the entire node. Oh, that's kill. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to hit the entire node. Yeah, yeah. so it's a super, super amount of damage to kill all of those. Then it's the Herald's turn, so it goes to the Herald. Yep, there you go. That's Hollow will move towards me. Hit me for four. I'll take one more damage. It's the, uh, the Herald's turn. Uh, the Herald I think you will. Insert yourself and get in there. Yep, so the Herald will go one to one to get to there. Oh, no, let's go. Uh, one. Oh, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah same, yeah. Yeah, and then bad. For funsies, one, two, three, to roll two blues and okay. kill that guy. That's it. Okay. Through the board, there's not eight souls in the bag. I think we're doing good. We're doing That's all right. Much better than last time. Right, this guy, this guy. Two of these and a bowman. And then one more right there. Okay, right, you so position us up, James. Uh, the knight is going to be going first. Let's go aggro on warrior. So let's try um, and split these guys up a bit then. They always go towards the nearest player, so it doesn't really matter. How many could you take? Uh, they do five physical damage to the entire well, knight. We can do we can do what we did last time. Yeah. You go there. And you guys will go off somewhere else. Yeah. I think. We want them. It'd be good I if think we're best to have... Okay, this is this is this is the hard bit. Why is it hard? Well, because the bowman hits the entire node and he's on the side of the warrior, so it might be best for you to take that. You only get hit by the bowman. Alright, fine. So because then we can do this and we'll be safe. Okay. You're so gonna... two knights are gonna move so that knight's gonna move in, those two are gonna move in, they're gonna push me off um... without hitting and then try and hit me. They're not gonna hit me. So I'm then going to, I'm not sure that's how it works. Really? Well I suppose it would work because you have to resolve left, you have to resolve left to right. So yeah, well, they move here. two. So when two move in, I get pushed off, then they attack. So what we've been there. doing here is we've been, okay, they all move and then they all... Yeah, no, that's, that's how it's supposed to be done. Uh, right, so then the bowman's going to attack me and he's going to attack me for four damage. Uh, 
Now, take one. Now, it's my turn. Oh, um, move in. I'm going to have to move in and hit the bowman, yeah. I think the bowman's a pain. Do I exert myself to make sure that I kill him? I think so. One, two, three, four. A blue and a black. Yeah, he's dead. The bowman yep. is dead. Okay. Right, it is now the rogue's turn. So, uh, we're going to just get rid of that aggro. So, he's going to move in. Push, push someone off. Push uh, the warrior off. He's going to move in. Push Herald off. He's going to move in. Push Assassin off. Um, <laughs> and attack and miss. So now it's actually the rogue's turn. So the rogue's going to go in. Push one push, push one to the Herald if you want. Oh, okay, yeah, well, there, it's fine. Oh, I'm just thinking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that goes to the warrior. Which right. is all right. Okay, and he's going to try and hit one. So he's going to use his free attack. Oh, so he's going to get free hit. Free back dice. And just get five. So oh, that'll kill one. one of those. He's dead. Okay, and then. He's War is, turn. War is turn. So it's going to go to the warrior. He's going to move in. He's going to stay there. Um, yep. That's it. War is going to hit for five. Yep. And be so pushed. So the warrior gets four blacks. Yeah, he gets six. All good. But he's still going to get pushed, so. Um, let's push him. Remember, they hit the whole oh, nose. Yeah, let's push him there. Right, and, and then, then the rogue. Uh, it is actually two dodges on the rogue. Okay. Two successes. So you do. So you still dodge, but you take all of the damage. Um. So you only take. You will take less in terms of the S still. So it's going to be four damage instead. You mean the um ember? Oh, ember. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the just the that's the risk of the rogue. He essentially still took five damage because he took one stamina to dodge. So yeah. it's the risk of the rogue. Um. <sighs> Right, uh, no, Warrior's turn. turn. So the Warrior's going to move in. So he's going to use free stamina. He gets, uh, gets two back, remember? Oh yeah, so two back, but he's going to put instantly put those back on. And he's going to hit that guy for one, two blues and one black. That's got to be. Yeah. Yeah, super dead. Alright. Now, for the sake of... Um, death, yeah, send him in to me. I will take a chunk of damage, but that's okay because I'm only going to get two. You can then send him your turn, so you don't yeah. have to move. So he's going to do, I get one, two, yeah, so just two blacks against this incoming five. Wow, okay. And of course, his mighty chief ticked about that, so the hell is going to smack him back with two blues and put bleed on him. <laughs> So two go through, one damage, he's dead. That's it. Let's go fight the boss. So you want to take the boss on? Yeah, I think... You don't want to go back and spend the... Because uh, um, we, we can go back and spend the embers without resetting the spark. We just might, can't do any more. So we can we go back we and... We got no souls in the bank, right? Oh, we, yeah, we would have. We'd have eight... We'd have the souls no, collected. We to... You can still collect them. I don't think you have to pop them back. To, the, the resetting the spark is just resetting the rooms. So we can still spend them now. We haven't got to reset the rooms. You sure? Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure we talked about this earlier. I'm almost positive. Even if you think about it in the game, you can go back and and have your souls without resetting the entire oh, game. Oh yeah, because you don't have to always rest at the campsite. No, exactly. That's exactly what that's doing. Rest at the campsites brings the rooms back, so you can farm yeah. them again. We're not trying to farm them again. We're just now going to go and spend our souls. Well, we got 24 souls. 24 so souls. Is. So if anything anyone needs to do. Didn't we need to like get anything to be able to get anything? Is anyone waiting on any, any gear? I'm not waiting on any gear. I'm not gear. waiting to think. I'm quite confident. None of us have got any upgrades. So let's take this one first. Exiled armor, 26 strength and 16 faith. So 26 strength. For, yeah, I could for two it. blues on defense. Sure, I'll take. Have um, you got that? Yeah. I've said this. Just go over it again. I got. Th I've got thirty-two strength and twenty-five faith. Yes, yeah, so it's twenty-six strength and sixteen faith. Awesome. Um, there you go. And it's got two upgrade slots, which you can probably take something out of here. 
Oh yeah, there's um, there was that one ring, wasn't there? It's thirty strength. Are you thirty strength? I'm um, thirty-two. There you go. So you can upgrade that with your armor. Yeah, I'll just put that there. Uh, so what does this do? After you make an attack, it exceeds the enemy's block. Oh, this guy, you've got three more, gain one stamina. Right, we have a new shield. The Eastern Iron Shield, which is 28 dexterity. 28 dexterity is um, tier two. Tier two on the assassin. It gives a dodge, but you've already got a dodge. I'm trying to think whether it's worth getting giving it to you. So what It gives you one blue in defense against physical and one dodge. But you'd have to ask yourself whether you would dodge anyway. You need more dodge dice, not blues. Well, because it's almost irrelevant, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just thinking if I don't think all these attacks are going to be able to dodge, right? I I, I won't take it. Uh, you might as well say. Well, that's it. That's it. So what would you what would you need? You need another six souls. Um, no, I need four souls. Well, get it. No, you don't. You need six. I'm on you... I'm on deck there. I'm on that's two, then four. Oh, okay, then do it then. For four souls, it's probably worth doing it. You got green dice for four on there. That's yeah. for that one. There you go. And then you can equip that, and then give me that shield. Right. I'll just put that there. Yeah. All right. And that will go up to there. Maybe that'll be more useful. The thrall axe, which is the one we've seen before, which is sixteen strength, sixteen dexterity, and it's um, a one-handed axe. Um, warrior's not interested. So he's completely geared. Uh, it is slightly better. I'm gonna take it. Can I upgrade my dexterity for, for one? Okay. If I use two souls, I can go to 19. Oh, yeah. So it's just two souls is nothing. He can then use that. And the only reason why is because it's got upgrade slots and my next, my four attack becomes a three. So I get slightly cheaper okay, to yeah. attack. Uh, and then I can, and then I can look in here and see if there was any, any gems that we had. Um, I think we had another Titan at Shard. No, we, had a, we had a sharp gem, but I'd need to I'd need to spend oh I could add it. It'd probably be worth it. Because what if I take this to if I take that to four, it adds a black dice to any of my attacks. Okay. That's not that's good. So um, another four souls. Yeah, so and I've now got souls. I've now got a so my zero attack is three black dice. Hey Clark. Hey Clark. No, it's not. We can't do that, okay? No, no. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, you can't take that off. I tried everything. Yeah, just go and play something else. It's, uh, it's, it's not working for now. Daddy will have to fix it. You leave it with me. Go and play your switch and I'll have a look later on, okay? Awesome. Thanks, Clark. I don't know what he's done. I think he's, he's accidentally tried to. Clarky, no, Dusty, leave him alone. Dusty? That dog chases him up the garden, poor kid. Oh, it's not that. <laughs> he's only right. trying to play. So yeah, my zero my zero stamina is now three blacks. My three stamina is two blacks, one blue. That's good. So that's not bad, right? Yeah. So what have we got left? Uh, we've got ten souls. Ten souls. Now eight. Uh, the Kurakris, which is 15 stamina. Oh, 15, 15 strength? No, just 15, sorry, 15 dexterity, I mean. 15 dexterity. So one handed, and it does nothing apart from add a bleed to something. Okay. I oh, think but it's, I, a, I it's a throwing it. weapon. I could take it. Um, I've, got enough sta I've got enough dexterity. So you can throw, you can throw for zero and put. Um, put um, so I swapped it. I swapped well, the it. thing you could do, well, yeah, if you're if you're cool, if you could do it, you could dual wield weapons, um, so that you could throw and then stab, and that would give you because obviously if you hit when something's bleeding, you get an extra two damage on it. Um, but it depends how confident you are in dodging. You know. <laughs> yeah, not that confident. Right. So this is the next one. Simple gem, which is fifteen faith. Reduce the cost of this weapon's highest stammer attack by one. Ooh. Who's got 15 faith out of all of us? Um, Only the Herald. Warrior's got 15 faith. How many upgrade slots has he got on his weapons? On his weapons, he's only got one and it's occupied. Okay. So, do we. Uh, we could upgrade for two. 
the I don't mind just actually staying at the back, throwing these like yeah. you're bleeding. Uh, if we upgrade the knight for two, his highest attack only costs two, and that's two blacks and one blue, because he's actually got two upgrade slots on there. So how much would it take? Two. Okay. Two souls. So he's now on fifteen dexterity, so fifteen faith, and he's now got a weapon with a sharp gem and a simple gem. Meaning, for two stamina, you can throw two blacks on one blue. That sounds pretty good. Right, let's flip again. Down to four. Fireball. For someone with 23 intelligence. Uh, that would be tier two on the warrior. Yeah. How, how much is your intelligence? It's gone up a bit. Uh, I'd need to go up again. If I went up again, I could have it. But um, um, I don't know if we need fireballs. I don't feel like we're a fireball gang. It did, last time it did, doesn't it? Legendary. It does, for five. It takes a lot. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, okay. I would say, actually sell it. Yeah, let's sell it. So we get those back. Okay, going down to three. Uh, replenishment. Uh, is it just a better... It's a 25 faith, so I need to upgrade my faith. Um, I've got 25 faith for my warrior. What does it do? Um, for zero, all characters within range, so range one, uh, gain one stamina. For two, all characters within range gain one health. I might as well take it. You might as well take it and then you can swap it out if you need to. But yeah. does that mean you're going to drop your big axe? I yeah? don't mind my battle axe. I don't yeah. We don't need it anymore anyway. You can already hit for a truckload. Yeah. Oh, no, let's oh, hang on, let me stop her. She's got some. Come on. Come on. Hey. Dusty's got a big pillow, which she's not allowed to have. Yeah, so I'm pretty confident that we're going to be able to run in this time and take out this boss. Um, I, I think it could be really good. Oh, look, Blake, where are you? Why are you not spamming the chat? Blake, we need you to spam the chat. <laughs> what, what's that? Blake, I, I was wondering why Blake wasn't spamming the chat. He's probably not watching this. <sighs> right, um, where were we? Um, so. We've got three more gems, have we? Three more souls. Yep, and then one. Worker armor. I, I remember that. I don't think it's working. Twelve in everything. How does it give? Okay, no. Uh, and it gives one black. Um, one black defense of both magic and physical. One dodge, but two upgrade slots. I'm not. I don't need it. Yeah. Is it worth anybody's time? I think so. Let's see if you draw another card. Hang on. No. Oh, oh damn. Yeah. I could have given it to the Herald, because actually for the Herald it would be okay, because then you get to upgrade. I'm going to go, I suppose you want to sell it, don't you? I don't mind. We can sell it. I'm what have we got left? We've got one left. Yeah. So these are what we've got, this is what we've got in the bank. Uh, we've got, uh, yeah, that's all the stuff we can't sell. Um, so I was looking to get some armour. With upgrade slots because then I've got we've got good stuff to upgrade. Uh, depend if you can find something to sell, then um, we've got the Silver Knight Shield. What's your 31? Has anyone got 31 strength, 23 dexterity? No, no I would need to upgrade my strength there, and you'd need to go crazy on dexterity. I, I wouldn't want it anyway. Okay, fine. So let's sell that shield then. If no one wants that, all right, so one more flip. Okay. Poison Mist. 11 Dexterity, 16 Intelligence. Um, you wrote your rogue could take it, right? Yeah, I could take it. Po I'll poison Mist. Except I, will, I don't know if I'll keep it. Um, would it be worth me just getting rid of my Guru Daggers and instead just staying at range, at a range of one, either making him bleed or poisoning him? Um, maybe. 
How long does the bleed and the poison last? Uh, one turn. So is that is that? So the bleed or well, the bleed is until the next person hits him, and the poison is to the end of his activation. I think bleed and poison are quite good, especially bleed. Bleed's two extra damage, and poison is a guaranteed damage every turn that he activates. I think I could just. But um, is that better than you hitting him hard? Because haven't you got poison on your daggers? Yeah, I've got poison. So on then the daggers. you've already got it. Um, it's not a guaranteed poison, is it? Because I've actually got a hit. Yeah, but then you, yeah, but you've got an upgraded. I think stick with your dagger. I think your dagger's better. Okay. Uh, do you want to sell this then? Yeah, we'll sell it. So we get one soul back. Yeah. Is that it? Are we all done? Uh, yeah. Well, should we flip one more? Should we sell off? Um, what can we sell? We've got three things here. We've got a really got armor upgrades. Let's sell that, and then we've got one more. Firelink armor, 20 strength, oh, 15 good. intelligence. This is for me. Um, 20 strength, 15 intelligence. Uh -huh. It's blue la blue. I think it's straight away for this guy. Can you use it? Yes, straight away. Awesome. Without, without any, any upgrades. And then, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted something we could then potentially chuck one of these in. You decide very hard on what one that is oh, then. I can't. Oh. <laughs> I haven't got the stats for it. Uh, I would need to up my okay all right fine but at least i've got a bit more tankiness okay right let's go and do the boss okay so reset your boards reset your boards oh we don't get a, i don't think anyone uses any estuses so no we're all we good get to reset our health and stamina all right um okay. I, need to, I need to take uh, the heat up cards let's out go so over our plan. uh we, d we hopefully do have a plan uh we've I, don't got, think, I don't think we have a plan we got a big hit of so the war is a big hit up um the the assassin's kind of making him a bit more vulnerable uh, okay he is on 26 health the knight is a brilliant tank and then i don't know what the herald does but the herald does his thing yeah the herald makes him bleed yeah right take a card out of that right that's it give it to me that's the card i'm not going to use i've got his heat up cards here so, take a heat up card. Yep, they are heat up cards. Are we ready to traverse <coughs> the mist? So, take a card out of that. That's going to be his heat up. So, that's going to go here. He heats up at 12 damage. So, when he hits 12, he's going to go all kinds of berserky. Dad, are we ready to traverse the fog? Yeah. Um, Is the fog or traverse the mist? Uh, I think it's called a fog gate, I think. Uh, yeah. After he heats up, characters in the gargoyle's node must spend one stamina to attack. So uh, it costs us an extra stamina to hit him. Okay. Um, I think these two solos need yeah. to be together. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, I'll take the aggro. I have no idea if he attacks the aggro. Actually, the knight's going first. Uh, so war maybe the aggro, more attacks the aggro. Okay. So the first thing he's going to do is. He's going to attack. What's it called? Uh, it's called Tail Whip. Oh. He's going to attack the arcs to the right and the rear of him. He's not going to move. He's just going to swish his tail out to the right and rear of him. And then he's going to move back one. So he's going to stay where he is okay. effectively. He's currently weak in the front. Oh, awesome. So my turn. Um, I, I think you should just get in there. I think I shall. So I can go one and then one into his nut front arc. Uh, yeah, so if you didn't know, when you're fighting bosses or mini bosses or mega bosses, they each create their own four nodes around them. Yep. You've got the front node, we've got the front front node, left node, right node, back behind, back node. Yep. So you can and then every, after every attack there will be a weak weak point and if you attack from that direction the, you get an extra black dice in your attack, no matter what attack it is. Oh, no, uh, I had someone ask a question actually. Sorry, but I didn't see you join. Um, so this is Distinct Lantern. Hey, look very interesting. How long does it take to play? Would it be good for a 10 year old? So, first one, absolutely 10 year old. Uh, James is now 13, but we've 12, been playing. 12, so, 12, 12, fact, 13. Yeah, turning 13. But you've been playing these types of games for years, right? So, yeah. um, and my tip is learn it together, and that way it doesn't feel like you're just telling no, someone else to play the game. That was my tip last video. But... Oh right. <laughs> um, 
But how long does this game take to play? Probably about two hours. Um, but can be longer, can be shorter, depending on how mm. well you roll and if you don't die. Now, given it's Dark Souls, you're going to die a lot. Hopefully, I caught you distinct um, and I didn't, didn't lose you from the channel before I saw your message. Yeah, As you can see, we were kind of head down trying not to die. Right, I'm going to hit this dude. So I'm going to get a blue and two blacks. Now he has got two physical armor and one magical armor. Come on, dice gods, give me a good roll. Uh, so it's two damage. I do two damage to him. That's not that great. Well, you've got to start off somewhere. Yep. So he gets hit for two and goes down to 24. Now I am in his face, so anything can happen. Turn goes over to the rogue. Um, he is going to. Game, Halberd Thrust, which is attacking to everything around his... Oh no, it's attack, he's attacking the aggro. Who's the aggro? That is the assassin. Okay, so he's going to move one towards the aggro. So would he's, you ignore, he's ignoring me. Do you get left on that? I get left there, and he's moving one towards the aggro. Um, it's moving there. Yep, to there. He's then at range one, so he, so you actually have to face him like that. Um, at range one, so here and here, he's going to hit for six damage. Luckily, you're not in range. And his weak arc is this one here. Okay. Um, then it's up to you. So, so far, we've not been hit by him, which is pretty good. So, um... I'm going to see if I can get the camera to a bit closer to the action. How was he standing? Was he like that? Yeah. So I'm going to go one and then for one, two stamina. Well, are you sure you want to be spending two stamina for a while? Well, okay, I could stay there and just throw a knife, make him bleed. Yeah, I'd be worried about, well, it's up to you, entirely up to you, you do what you want to okay, do. I think, I'll just, I think I'll maybe, maybe jumping in with stamina this early in the game might be a bit of a... Yeah, I'm, I'm at a range to that. Let's see, so it's a range of one. So if I move onto there, and throw one in space. So he's now bleeding. Uh, do you want to put Okay, yeah, great. On? So if he's got a bleed token on him. Okay. <clears throat> so that's your turn over, yeah? Yeah, oh, he was blind. Ah, cool. Spotted you this time. <laughs> Yeah, we love it, man. It's um, it's the whole whole reason why we do this hobby is because I want to stay. I've got four kids. Uh, James is my eldest son, but I actually have an older daughter. Um, uh, and we all play games together. Maybe Faith not so much, but certainly the boys. Uh, and it's a way to yeah, you know, get away from screen, spend some quality time together, play this. So that's why this whole hobby lodge that we're in exists, and why we have all these games. Yeah. But yeah, enjoy, man. Right, let's see what he does next. Electric Breath. So it's a range one at the nearest person. Okay. So we can easy. make that you or me. Um, how many dodges is it? It's two. Two okay. dodges. Maybe at you then. Yeah, so turn him to face me. Hello there. Oh, all the way around. Uh, and then he's going to electric breath me for four damage. Now on magic, disappointingly, I only get one blow. Ooh. Yeah, the spider shield felt like a good idea at the time, but um, maybe not so much. Oh, thank you very much for that follow. Much Ooh. appreciated it. Oh, was it? Um, what's his name? Uh, it is uh, Distinct Lantern. Well, welcome to the channel, Distinct Man. Yes, um, now you're a follower. Next week I will be doing a celebration stream because we made Twitch affiliate last month and we went over 200 followers. Uh, so I'm going to be doing some giveaways to people that have followed and subscribed and helped us yeah. build up our little channel. Make so sure, uh, you make sure to be there. Yeah. Great time to follow. If you get a notification next week of a celebration stream, try and join it and uh, you may win some stuff. Yeah, it'd be really awkward if um, Blake is the one who wins everything. Because <laughs> Blake's my younger brother, and he and he likes to watch the streams instead of be part of them. <laughs> He's all right. Right. Um, so that's that. I took two damage, which didn't feel nice. 
Um, but now it is the warrior's go. Okay. He is weak, but he's weak in the arc that's furthest away. So I don't think that's worth the warrior trying to trying to get on. If the warrior can hit him though, he will do two extra damage because he's bleeding. Oh, wasn't he? Was he poisoned? Uh, he was not poisoned because I didn't hit. Him. Oh, you missed him. Okay. Oh, I, I threw my daggers at him to make him bleed instead of hitting him with. Yeah, thanks, Ed. Uh, I threw I threw the like the curacus. Yes. But I didn't actually use my dagger. Oh, okay. So I got him to bleed instead. Remember, you can dual wield weapons, but you've just got to be careful that you are yeah. like that for the rest of the round. I, I, since I was right in his face, I can. I can All right, fair enough. Yeah. Him when I was dodges. Yeah. Um, so, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna move to there. Yep. Now, okay. Um, I would if it's a lot of stamina. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go overexerting it. So this is this is a long. These are long fights, and therefore we don't want to go. We need to be really stamina efficient. Okay. So if he's too far away to hit him, you know I wouldn't do, do it. Oh. Yeah, maybe maybe heal for a turn. That'd be great. Uh, so I could do with. So I can use for zero. All characters within range heal for one stamina, so you can heal one of those stamina. Okay, all right. It isn't. I know it's not that good, but um, um I can maybe heal your health, but it will cost me two stamina. Which might be worth it because you're going to get it back. Okay. So, so I can I'll get take one two stamina, and I could do one health and one stamina. Or only, two st only one health. Oh, okay, but I still keep the stamina. Yeah, it's. It is quite weak. Yeah, um, okay, alright. But it does affect all characters, so if... Because um, I'm going to get stamina back, so I can't get life back. So that's why the, the life heal is at least good. Because you're going to get that two stamina back next time you have a turn. Yeah. Um, Lemon flaps keep coming out of this table, driving me nuts. Yeah, maybe it was not worth it getting a sticky <laughs> table. Yeah, well, we never use the pool table underneath, do we? Right, yeah. uh, so you've oh, done your oh, attack. Yeah. No, you've done your attack, yeah? So he's now going to do sweeping strike. So he's going to head towards the nearest player. So I guess we leave him on me. Um, yeah. And then he's going to hit for five damage. And he's weak in the rear. But this is the end of the deck. We know his first turn is hitting everything in the rear. So so that that the assassin's going to get hit next round. Yes. Oh, this goes to hell, by the way. Yeah. So he's weak in the rear, but you're yeah, still the risk hit. is you're going to get hit in the rear. Okay, so he's hitting me for five. Now I get a blue and two blacks against physical damage. So I'm looking for five, and I get five. So he doesn't hit me at all, which is fantastic. Uh, now it's the Herald's turn. Now the Herald knowing that he's weak in the rear. <laughs> now it doesn't mean you couldn't hit him and then get out of there. You could obviously hit and move. You have to spend stamina to do it. Also you have to get on top of that yeah. mode there. Um, I think we just need to get start getting hit but I think, but I think, yeah, but I think it's a mistake. I think if I go here or here, I'm going to get hit. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go to there for free. I'm just going to stay there. Um, what, what's your healing spell do? Maybe you oh, I could that. heal, couldn't I? Heal within range, uh, which is three squares. So, yeah, I'm going to swap out my Morning Star for my heal. And for zero, a character within range, so the Knight, for instance, can do one health and one stamina. There, oh. there we go. Brilliant. That's the end of his turn. Now it is him again. So we've turned the deck over. So we know it's going to be attacked to the rear. So you're going to get tail whipped. Four damage, two dodge. Okay, so I might just try and take, take use the blue dodge. So I get a blue and a black yep. instead of my, my two dodges. Yep. Um, three. Three, so, so nice. You only take one damage. So that's better than... And then he's going to move backwards. So will I and have to push you? Back no, you're going to get pushed. So we're going to get pushed to. You push He's me. weak in the front. So can I get pushed to the you front? You can push to the front. Yeah, you can roll. But you essentially roll between his legs. Actually, no, no, I'm looking for Bill. Um, yeah, because it's not your turn. It's the and nice also turn. next is the is the electric breath. Okay, so which I'm confident I can take. 
So I am actually not going to miss your opportunity to hit him. Yeah, so I'm going to move into his front move. arc. So it costs one stamina to... One stamina to move in. But I get... Recover one. Spend one. And then I'm going to do my big hit. So two stamina. To roll two blacks and a blue. Now whatever this is, is plus two. So two armor. Two. So it takes four damage. Good job. Which is better than anything. So that bleeding token now takes him down to 20. Can you Turn remember? Goes, oh, okay. Turn uh, goes to you. Token. Yeah. Yeah, if you can keep him bleeding, that's probably how we're going to beat him. Yeah. So Halberd I'm... thrust is actually the thing. So he's going to turn to the aggro. To me, which is you. so I think. I don't know. Do you, would you get pushed back when he turns? I'm just on that node, yeah. I think, I think once he moves off a node, back. it becomes the node again. So I think that's fine. And then he's going to move towards you once and push you. Now, because you can go behind him. So the only time you can go behind a boss is when he's pushed you up against a wall. When he pushes you, you have to go like in the direction he pushes yeah. you. But because he pushed you up against the wall, you're allowed to go behind him. Um, so in that instance, he would hit the node in front of him. Uh, I think I and think miss. he would also be on this node because you were on his node. He was on this one. Okay. So yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, He's weak in the side that we can't really get to. Well, you can get to it because it is a node. So, uh, yeah. Should I just go and hit him in that side, or should I just keep him bleeding? If you think you can do a chunk of damage to him, go for it. Because you can poison him as well, can't you? Yeah. So they do that. Okay. So I'm going to... I mean, if you're confident he's not going to hit you, there. you can do both. You could put your other weapon in your other hand and take your shield off and go bleed and then poison. YOLO. I don't think he can do enough. I don't think he can do like eight damage to me. So let's go Rotten Guru Dagger in that hand. Yep. Yeah. And then bleed her in the other hand. So for zero, he's going to get bled. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, so he's so bleeding. bleeding. And then I'm going to... Because then your attack is now going to get extra two Although, damage. Although, should I do the free stamina? We're going to get two back, so take that one off. It's only actually going to cost you one. Okay. Well, I would have got... So, so it cost off. you two. It would drop one, though, because that wasn't the start of my turn. No. Oh, okay. Start of my turn, I would have got rid of that one, but it's okay. free. It's free to... Um, All right, yep, so free to do that. And it's going to be three blacks. Three blacks. Let's get... And then whatever it is, it's plus two. So two, so four damage. Uh, and then also poisoned. So four damage and poisoned. But now the bleed's gone. Which is fine. That's good. I think and he's now, he's now poisoned. Okay. Warrior's turn. So the first thing he's going to do is electric breath. So he's going to turn to the nearest player, which is you. Oh, Not yeah. much we can do about that. Hey, you on my face? Um, yeah, it's probably more. Yeah, no, no, yeah, I think that's fine. Um, and it's going to be four magic damage to you, and it is a two dodge. Uh, so I can't. I, I just get one black. Okay, so four, so three damage. It's not, not the end of the world. Okay, um, I've got three slots left. Yeah. Okay. You may need to be not so gun ho That's probably next uh, time. Yeah. That was that was it. I'm not yeah. going to go gun ho again. Um, War is turn. He is weak in the side that's up against the wall here, so not ideal. That, that war has been ineffective so far. I don't know if he's better healing again. You know, can he heal the rogue? Um, he needs to get in the fight, but um. I don't know if it's worth the three stamina. He can do a lot of damage. But it's three, he's, he's one, two, three. I might just go, oh, I'd be forgetting that you get bonuses for hitting him in that side, because I actually would have got four black dice. All right, roll another dice then. Um, Takes one extra damage. Okay, so I think he's on 15 health. You can spend one stamina just to get into that back. Oh. Yeah, and just hit him even though he's not. Um, yeah. Not yeah, the end of the deck, are we? No, we're not the end of the deck. Next, next one. Okay. So, so tower, it's not tower whip this time. Oh yeah, because he's going to attack his front again. Okay. Well, um, we can turn him to face you now. Yeah. So now he's going to use three 
Remember to get two stamina back each time. Oh yeah, so I would have got rid of that. You just want to move, but then he's going to get three. Yeah. That. And what's this damage oh, actually, then? Actually, would it be worth it? I think it would be worth it. Um, if I wreck on this turn, in moving to there, he's going to be special, which will allow him to move in. Yeah. And then make whatever attack he wants. So he can do his strongest one. Make sure you equip his um, weapon then, because he's got his shield oh, yeah. equipped. So he's going to do his biggest hit. So this is going to be a one black, two blue, plus one because my titan out shard. Okay. Got big money. Oh, that's not great. So um, that's three, four. So, um, two, so two goes away because of armor. Yeah. And two damage and then plus one. So three, yeah, damage, three damage. Which is unfortunately the exact amount to heat him up. <laughs> so this actually gets shuffled. So we take this away. No, I wasn't ready we take his we take his heat up card. Um, I'm now back we... onto my full defence. Yeah. My, my spike mate actually gives me some defence. So he now also takes an extra stamina to hit. Okay. So whatever our stamina's are, we have to add one if we're going to hit him. All right. Yeah, my war is at, my war is at peak performance right now, so he doesn't mind getting hit. Yeah. Yeah. The only one we need to be careful of is the rogue. Well, but the first actually... thing he's going to do is electric breath. And he's going to turn to the nearest player, so we could turn him to you. And he's going to... Hello, we'll hit the um, Herald. Um, he hits the node that you're on, that's it. So okay. no. Um, so how much damage is this? Uh, four. And then it makes him weak in the side that he's exposing to, to the knight right now. But. Nice. Nice, so you defend all of it. Um, and in fact, these can actually go to the Herald. Okay, so now it's the Herald's turn. I don't think it's worth the Herald using... Oh no, you can move one to go onto his node, and then two to go onto that side. So we do that. So we spend two. Yeah, and then you And could... then I'm in that weak side. So then I'm over then, here, basically. Um, what you could do is you've got a bit of ability for Perseverance. That's like playing your Heroic. It'll heal two stamina from everyone, which could be useful right now. Um, because, um, right now. That'll, help, that'll open everyone up a bit. Okay. All right, so I'll hit him and then I'll use Perseverance. So we're going to go with, take yeah, my heal really off. Assassin, you'll get, you'll put get my heal more. there. We're going to put my morning star on. We're going to use three stamina to hit him as hard as we can and see if we can also make him bleed. So two blues. Uh, does two damage to him and makes him bleed. Awesome. So we'll take that. Down to ten health, right? Down to ten health. And then I'm going to use my perseverance, which is my heroic, and everyone can heal two stamina. Ooh, ooh. Basically, like, he's down to ten health. We got this, boys. Yeah, it's like a, a cry of, of help. Right. Over here. Did you roll the extra black? No, I didn't. So this is free damage. One. Oh, but he's acting like he can only attack him when he's weak arc. I know, yeah, so that's a nine. In fact, I bet we've forgotten that loads of times. In fact, I know I have. Yeah. <laughs> so we could have done a whole bunch of damage to him by now. Never mind, it's our fault. Oh, well, I don't even want Right, this yeah. one isn't so... Oh, that's actually not too bad. He's going to move one towards the nearest player, which oh, I suggest boring. is whoever can take a lot of damage. Boy, he's, he's, he's all clear. Yeah. So... He's just going to move to there, right? Yeah. Um, which means the knight's going to be, the herald's going to be there. And he's going to do a sweeping attack in front well, of I you. Well, I think the herald would get left. Okay, fine, yeah. A sweeping attack in front of you for five damage. Okay. I get uh, three blacks. Actually, no, I forgot. I actually get uh, two blues, two blacks. Whoa. Because uh, my exile armor. But you give me no magic defense. Oh, that's nice. Jeez, easily blocked all of that. And he's weak in his rear. Okay, so it is it's now, now the, knight's the knight's turn. Hmm. So I'm going to get that stamina back. So I could go from there. One to move to there, two to move into his rear. Because I'm going to get plus one. I'm going to get two do damage extra plus an extra black dice. Oh, one problem is if he does a tail whip. Does a tail whip, we're in trouble. Two stamina, 
two stamina gets me two blacks, a blue, and an extra black because I've hit him in the rear. And whatever damage I do is a bleed. Can I do nine damage? I don't think so, but hey. <laughs> yeah. He's certainly going to feel it. Okay, so two I'm goes not, away for his armour. You might be... Ten for you. Isn't they? Yeah. Um, I don't know if it takes it, five damage. Would it be worth it re-rolling that blank to try and get a little bit more? Actually, no, no. Maybe. Uh, no, in case we need it. We don't want to be silly. Yeah. So that's five damage on him. So take the bleed off of him. That's a lot in one go. He's down to four health. Oh, yeah, geez. We're taking him down. He's going down, chat. If there's anyone there, he's going down. Oh, he's messaging us. Um, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. It's second that's looking forward to it. What did the what did the other comments say? Because I never actually read it. Uh, that's from the previous chat. So that's that's from the one we were screaming at. Oh, I was mean the one before the. Two. Oh, he was just saying yeah. about um, uh, uh, what was he saying? He was saying looks interesting. Uh, you know, would he be suitable for a ten-year-old boy? So I'm assuming they've got a ten-year-old. Yeah. Uh, and then it's oh, nice yeah. to see you sort of bonding and uh, over a game, which is which is the point. Um, okay. Right. So now it's what now the turn comes to you. Yeah. Halberd thrust. He's going to. Oh, this is not good. It's going to turn to face the aggro. We're, we're all going to. Uh, we're all going to get hit. You are on his back, I don't know if, I'm guessing no, you wouldn't move around with him. So know. I'm now on his back. I don't know how that works, to be honest. I mean, in theory, I'd still be on his rear, no yeah, I think I would be. I'm on his back node, aren't I? Yeah. So, and you can, a warrior would be on the front there. So okay. The warrior could take a seat. Uh, six damage to everyone uh, at the front. So, um... Although it says it, ta it, says it specifically attacks the aggro, so I think it's only the aggro. Oh, okay. Uh, it's one hey, dodge. One dodge. I'm going to go for that one dodge. Okay. I've got that. Do you die? Yes. Oh, you dodge it. Okay, so, so I'll just take one. I reckon you one should get the dickens out of there and get over there. You sure? Oh, he's poisoned. We forgot to do that. End of his activation. He's taking a wound. So he's now on three health. You know what? Where's his weak arc? Right now, his weak arc is this side. Okay. Um, so I can't quite make it there, but I'll use my uh, heroic to do backstab. So because I dodged, I can yep. kind of do an, a, do, an, do an attack. I can do whatever attack I want. So I'm going to do my three three blacks. Um, so if this does five damage, he's could I dead. Only one black? He needs whatever can do five. Damage. Does it bleed him or anything? Or it poison? Will poison him. Okay. That's it. He's dead. Five he's damage. That's exactly what we need. So two goes off. His armor and three left. Oh yeah. He's got three health. Nice. Nice work. We killed him. The gargoyle is dead. He chat again. <laughs> we did. Go, we did. Thank you, buddy. We took him down. Ooh. The rogue unexpectedly didn't think he'd do it, but he did. Yeah. You killed him. So now we get to look at the rewards. Oh. So we get another six souls for that. So six souls. We can get back to the campfire. After our heroic victory. He snapped off that bat axe and his tail stole his hand. <laughs> yeah, right, so we get the gargoyle's shield. What uh, the uh, which is 25 intelligence, 25 faith. Very high, but it's a good shield. One black for physical, two blues for magical. Um, That's pretty good. A warrior. He isn't interested. Is no, he? I think it's I think it's probably for either. I'll oh, take so, annoyingly, the knight would need to go to tier 3 on both, because he's 23, like, if that was 25, perfect, but it's 23. So, oh, yeah. um, and on here, he would need to go up 1 to faith, and up 2 on this. I think it is really good for the herald at some point, but um, not Let's now. Let's look at the other stuff first. Uh, this gargoyle's halberd, 25 strength, 25 faith. Which is you, isn't it? Um, so what does it do? For zero, it is. It's you can't attack on the node. You've got to be off the node. Okay. Um, but it's one legendary, and then for four, it's two legendary. Zero, it's one. For zero, oh, it's I'm one legendary. I'm taking that. Oh. And then be sure, because you you lose your you lose your upgrade. 
That upgrade Can is I attached not? to that weapon. Oh. I kind of have to do that. It's only plus one. It might be worth carrying it around with you. Because that's your node weapon. This is your off node weapon. Okay. Alright, so it just means you don't carry that heal anymore, but we can probably just sell that off. Okay. Right, and then there's another weapon here. Oh, this is two handed as well. Yeah. Gargoyle's Tail Axe. 25 strength, 25 dexterity. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to carry If it's okay, I'm going to give it to the knight yep. as a. So, what does it do? For one, it's two blues. Oh, four. Oh, Alright, I come. We'll do. We're going to be up in a minute because we're going to finish. Okay, I come and see you. All right. Okay. See you in a minute. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're coming up. We're going to just finish this game up. And we're coming. So for four, Dusty. Uh, for four, it's three blues on a node. So that's like his. Yeah. If he finds himself an opportunity to use a big weapon, he can. I'm really happy that how would. Yeah, right, so we've got six souls, we can spend them and then we'll call it a night. Oh, we actually got seven. Actually, no, we didn't sell that thing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Clonth, uh, I can never say this, Clothony Ring, which is 18 across the board. Um, no. Which no one's got, and it's the character's gain. I think we can sell that. Okay. I, don't think, I don't think any of us are going to use that. Apparently it's a really good, when I saw the Let's Plays of it, they said this is one of the best rings in the game, but... You truly are going to keep it? We can keep it, I suppose. Do? It, um, characters on your node gain three stamina at the start of their turn rather than two. No. I suppose it is good. Seven. Right. I, I don't think it's that good. We've got a Titanite Shard, um, which is good. I would, yeah, I would use that. And then we've got a weapon slot. Yeah, I've, got, go. I've got two weapon slots over weapon here. Slots on here. My Another one. An Ember. Um, did my knight already have an ember, or was that just there for no, the previous game? No, that was from the previous game. Okay, so the we have an ember. The person who's got an ember is the assassin. Okay, so we've now got another ember. So who do we think needs an ember? I think the herald. Okay. Because when he gave up his shield to your guy, he actually became quite weak in defence. So giving him a, an ember is probably not a bad idea. Right, we've got one more flip. Yep, now we're all out of souls. The silver eagle knight shield, 15 strength. Um, it's. I wouldn't be interested in it. My shield is perfect. Slightly better than. Oh yeah, definitely better. Okay, so I'm going to just give it straight to the Herald if that's all right. Yep. There's no magic defense, which is what he's lacking, but it is a blue on physical, so he's he's upgrading a black dice to a blue dice, so that can't be bad. Um, um, can I have your legendary dice since you won't be using it? Oh, like that is it? Oh, oh, yeah. in, in your face, Dad. You don't need the legendary dice. Oh yeah, I need. I need when are you ever rolling legendaries? <laughs> you hear that, folks? That was a slight dig of uh, Dad. You're a loser. I'm rolling legendaries. Right, are we all out of souls then? Yeah. So that leaves us with this uh, ring, the replenishment heal, uh, the. We could, Tiny beings could ring. Could we just reset it and then just go around again for a couple more songs? Uh, not tonight, because then we need to go up now and like let the kids, let everyone go to bed and stuff. But okay. um, tomorrow we can, <clears throat> we can tomorrow we can go after the next boss. Oh, so yeah. tomorrow we can play, and the next boss in the in the campaign, because if we leave it all out, we can leave it there. Uh, it is the Titanite Demon. Yeah. Which so, is that weird looking guy. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to get him out actually. No, I can just lift you up, lift it up. Yes. To show you. <laughs> he's saying he's been on the receiving ends of those kind of. Uh, oh, Dad, you're you're rubbish. Shall I take this? Don't be yeah, like okay. There's yeah. the Titan Art Demon. Not, so that's who we're going to go up against. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Not, I think it's the delivery of the comment is probably the sarcasm of, oh, Dad, there's no point you having that dice on your side of the table. You're never going to use that. <laughs> I'm going to give that to me. Uh, yeah, the gargoyle shield we should leave there. There we go. That's it, folks. Uh, thank you, Distinct. Hope you enjoyed that. We actually managed to win. So tomorrow we're going to be going after the Titanite Demon. You're more than welcome back again. Yeah, yeah. and that's it. Right. Thanks, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye! -bye, bye, -bye. bye.